going on a trip. I am going to Dubai. It is high high. high. And do you know why? There are two reasons. One, the only thing that's packed is mango. And two, I have nothing to pack. And the worst thing is, I've just been procrastinating. I've literally had like a 30 minute shower where I've feated, I've washed my hair, I've done skincare, and I'm still not packed. Now, I've got all my bodybuilding stuff sorted, right? My cream of rice in a tub. I've got my EAAs, I've got my pre-workout, and let's not forget the one, the only, tomato ketchup. 50% less sugar and salt. Now, I know people are wondering why I'm bringing this to Dubai. Like, I'm not going into the middle of Africa, but you know what? Imagine now, they don't have reduced salt and sugar ketchup, right? Imagine. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna have my corn chicken dry. No chance. No bloody chance. However, I do not have any clothes that fit me. It is. The 31st of March and I'm flying to Dubai tomorrow. It was at this moment that she knew. She fucked up. I'm really struggling, right? Because I've started this prep, and since starting this prep, I've lost 2.5 kilos. So I'm shrinking. I'm shrinking. <laughs> Look at these abs. <laughs> abs of steel. <laughs> I don't need to prep anymore. I can step on stage next week. I've even got extra small rider wear shorts that I'm probably never gonna wear there, but let's pack them just in case I get shredded overnight. As long as I've got the essentials, as long as I've got my cream of rice, my protein powder, and my fucking sugar-free, well, 50% less salt and sugar ketchup, then I'm good. I'm good, I'm ready. Right, I've got three bags. One for my supplement, one for my clothes and my shoes and all of that stuff. And then one that I can carry on the plane with me. So I've got so little clothes that I actually don't think I need three bags. But I've just got all my supplements in there. This is why I say I'm prepared. Like Erin, if you're watching this, I'm prepared. Wait, let me actually weigh this. I'm 69. But it's the end of the day, so it's fine. Wait. Oh my god, this bag weighs 15 kilos. It's meant to weigh 10. I think we may need three bags, actually. Right. Instead of procrastinating, I'm actually going to pack now. Let's not forget the Naughty Boy porn star passion fruit. That's going right in my basket. Okay. <laughs> I try to be all prepared with my supplements, right? And look at this. If someone opens this, they're gonna think I'm like 80 with all the comorbidities in the world. What I've done is I've just chucked 18 tablets of whatever I need into this. And I'll sort it out when I'm in Dubai. Let's, let's forget about that for now. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm gonna get stopped. My bag's gonna get searched. This is creatine. I decided not to take the whole tub because it's gonna take so much space in my bag. Am I gonna get stopped? Oh, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, now, more gym stuff, because why Why should I pack anything else other than gym stuff? I've got my straps. I've got one strap. My belt. That's going in. My book. I got these glasses from one of my ex-boyfriends when I was like 14. Are we gonna wear them? Are we gonna pack them? Do you know what? They're quite edgy. I don't know if they're, if they're a bit of me then. I feel like Ozzy Osbourne. This is probably the most unorganized suitcase you've ever seen, but it makes sense. It makes sense to me. Question is, do I pack leggings or do I just get shorts? Because I know it's like 30 degrees in Dubai, but what's the, what's the weather like in the gym? Oh my God, did I actually just say that? You stupid. No, no. Oh. Et voila! It is 4.48 a.m. And I'm going to buy today. I'm really excited, even though my face says otherwise. I'm just tired. I went to bed at like 10 yesterday, which is not ideal because it means I've had like five hours sleep. Actually, let me check five hours of sleep. But anyway, I'm gonna go and do some work at the moment. Um, go do my cardio. 25 minutes on the Stairmaster like a boss. Wish, brush, brush. It's not that hard. Yeah, keep on telling yourself that, Vicky. Today's new low. Outfit check. What are those? I am just off to do cardio. 
Uh, mango stinks. You stink. I'm joking. I love you. 25 minutes. I'm going to do some abs. <laughs> oh, I'm going to miss you so much. I don't think I've introduced this video, so I'm going to do it now. Hi, my lovely budge, and welcome back to my second ever YouTube video, episode two of my prep series. In today's video, I am going to give you guys the pleasure of traveling with me. The last three years have been absolute shambles. We haven't been able to travel. I've been meaning to go away on so many holidays that have just been rebooked, cancelled, and did not happen. So I'm so excited to actually be able to sit on a plane. I'm flying today at 9.55 p.m. which is gonna be absolutely fantastic because I'm literally gonna get on the plane and sleep. Anyway, I'm just driving. <laughs> but you know that because you can see it. It's currently 7.26 and I'm driving Mango to a dog boarding place. Me and Mango are never separated. I take it everywhere with me. I need to learn to actually be away from her because I feel like my personality just screams dogma. <laughs> It's two weeks and we're reunited and then I'm never, ever, ever leaving her again. Outfit check! Number two. Ooh. On a more bodybuilding-ish note, I am just packing my food. Right, I've packed all my stuff. You know how I had a little bit of a mare and I thought, I don't need all these bags. Well, these two together, a 10 kilos over, well, were 10 kilos over. I've managed to sort it out because I'm a big girl. I actually didn't even have a mental breakdown. Yay me. Oh, stop it, Vicky. If someone comes up to me in the airport and they start acting up, all I'm gonna do is take my jacket off and do this. I'm gonna go up to security and if security stops me, I'll be like, and what? <laughs> all my protein, like, and my cream of rice in my bag, and I'll be like, what, what's this powder? I'll be like, nothing. <laughs> Stop it, what are you doing? I've had meal one and meal two today already. I'm gonna have meal three before I go to the airport. This is meal number, meal number four and meal number five. So we have got corn chicken, green veg, mushrooms, and 50 grams of jasmine rice. Here we've got 350 grams of potatoes, corn chicken. I meant to have fish with this meal, but I, I don't wanna pack fish. And then I've actually packed a meal for tomorrow morning. So I land in Dubai at 7.55 their time. So before I get through all of the security, I'm gonna probably be hungry. Anyways, I need to actually go return some clothes that don't fit me, like I said before. And then I'm gonna have my meal and get going. I'm so excited. <laughs> Just about to surprise my mum and my sister because they didn't see that I came out. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd just update you a little bit. As you can see, my ketchup is there. I did pack it, I told you I would. Arrived in Dubai around 9.30. My flight was delayed by two hours, which was an absolute nightmare, but luckily I packed my first meal. So I had my first meal at the airport, got to my parents' house, which is where I'm at now. I had uh, another meal and my mum actually spoiled me and my sister for a little pamper day. So we got our nails done. Look at these. We're back home now. Um, I'm actually gonna go train. It is a little bit late because it's, it's around 5 p.m. now. I'm training at a gym called Gym Nation. 
today. Um, it's been recommended. It's actually in the area where my parents live, so it's not too far away. And I'm probably going to be training at Venus tomorrow, which of course I'll catch on camera. Or now I'm going to go have my pre-workout and I'll catch you guys later. The next day. It's so bright. Before I came to Dubai, I didn't really believe in jet lag because everywhere I've travelled has only been like plus or minus like one hour, two hours from UK time. Now that I'm like three or four, I really feel it. I went to bed pretty late last night, around half eleven, and I usually go to bed at nine. So getting up at six is a struggle. I, mean, I may be tired today, fair enough. Like I've had what six hours of sleep, but routine is really important for me and I promise myself that when I fly out to Dubai nothing changes so still get up in the morning still doing a little bit of work eating obviously normal meals as usual woke up this morning I've actually just started filming the next YouTube video which will be out soon but I wanted to wrap up my little traveling to Dubai vlog and my takeaway so first of all one pack in advance even though I packed all my bodybuilding stuff in advance obviously I didn't pack my clothes I always am um, quite an organized person. This time I was like, oh no, like don't worry, I've had so much going on in my life. So yeah, I didn't think of doing that, which is a mistake to say the least. Make sure you pack in advance. Make sure you've got all your supplements ready, all your orders in. Because one of the things I did run out on is Carvex, and obviously it was too late for me to order that one. Two is make sure you've got your meals packed, but also pack a few more meals in advance. As you saw, my flight was delayed by two hours, which also meant I was two hours later arriving in Dubai. And thank God I packed something because I had my meal one, and if I didn't, I wouldn't have my meal until around 11. Obviously, meal prep, especially if you're flying on prep like I did, like make sure you've got all your meals planned for the day of traveling and the day after because if anything happens, you're sorted. Tip number three expect to hold water. Now, it is my second day here in Dubai. I came yesterday morning. This is the first night I've had in Dubai. So I've woken up today and I've weighed myself. I weighed 67.2 on Friday, which is two days ago. I now weigh 68.2. There are a lot of factors that can obviously contribute to this. One can be the fact that the scales are different. Even though scales are meant to be accurate, some of them measure differently to water retention. When I got off that flight in Dubai, I just felt my legs being like tree trunks. Not my quads, I wouldn't mind that. I, I'd love to have quads like tree trunks. My actual legs, my feet were very swollen. I was holding a lot of water. My knees were very painful. And the first thing that I've noticed as well was my stomach was in agony. I was so bloated. I was in so much pain as well. Like, it was like crampy pain, like you know period pains. I mean, if you're a guy and watching, you, you won't know, but it was like everywhere in my stomach. It was horrible. So that is something to bear in mind as well if you're traveling whilst on prep, but also if you're flying out to a different country to compete, bear in mind water retention is a thing and you're probably gonna need to fly out a couple of days in advance to try and get rid of that water. Um, so that's tip number, what are we on? Next tip be selfish. This is something I always struggle with to the extent that when I used to go on flights, I used to sit down and be like, oh, I'm not going to open up my meal prep because it stinks on the plane. Like, no, open it up, eat it. It's your time, it's your year, it's your placings. And to be honest, if someone's got a problem, that's their issue, not yours. Bodybuilding is a selfish sport. It's a selfish sport that requires, is it? Is it? Have you ever had a dream that you would? You could, you do, you wit, you want. Bodybuilding is a selfish sport. It does require you to put yourself first, ultimately. And if you want to be successful, if you want to achieve your goals, no matter what that is, whether it's bodybuilding, whether it's university, whether it's your own business, you need to be able to prioritize yourself. So yeah, that's your next tip. So like I said, today I'm going to be filming a little day in the life. I'm just going to be vlogging my whole stay here and all of these tips that I accumulate throughout the day. Accumulate? Is that how you say it? Accumulate? Accumulate? I don't even know, but accumulate all of these nice tips for you guys over the next couple of weeks and obviously share them. I'm going to document them here on YouTube and on my Instagram, so make sure you're following me. I'll link the app down below. 
Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. As always, drop in the comments down below what you'd like to see filmed over the next couple of weeks. I think my camera's tilted. As I was saying, drop a little message in the comments down below or DM me on Instagram as to what you'd like to see over the next couple of weeks. See, I want to be filming content that you guys actually want to see and that you'll benefit from and things that you're curious about that you kind of want me to try out and and learn from and, and teach you guys for future reference. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. I will be with you guys in a bit. Peace.